The report is that wildlife at Tairoa Heads appears to be unharmed by the storm's onslaught. Three staff caught a water taxi to Tairoa Head so they could feed albatross chicks and check on a little blue penguin nest boxes. Upon weighing the chicks, it was decided they were in good health with evidence that adults were still coming in from sea to feed them. There was a bird that was weighed on Friday, the one that we were kind of a little bit concerned about was actually the same weight it was on Friday. So a good chance that an adult's been in, because there's only one adult feeding that bird and it's had a feed. We've given it a really good feed today. Um, and our plan is to be able to use the water taxi to get in and now to here for the next few days till we get an update from DCC on the road access. A large slip had damaged about 20 nesting boxes for little blue penguins, but it seems these nest boxes had not been in use. There's surprisingly little damage in the colony. Most of it is okay. There are a number of nest boxes along this side here that are buried in the sand that came down the hill with a slip. And um, so far any other boxes that I found that were filled with sand did, sand did not have any penguins in it. Also, haven't found any dead penguins, haven't found any eggs washed away, um, nothing at all really so far, which is a huge relief. The Dunedin City Council is expected to announce soon when the reserve can reopen to the public. Rudy Adrian, The South Today.